Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share this video with you today. Um, so today we are going to be talking about the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, like I said, I'm really excited. I have seen a lot of sneak peeks about the sale. I have not gotten my ad from them yet. I feel like I hardly ever get my advertisements from Ulta. I have an issue some, for some reason with getting my stuff from them. So anyway, I don't have the ad in hand, so I'm gonna have to take you guys online and we're gonna look at it there. I thought about just inserting photos, but when it comes to the Ulta 21 day, 21 day sale, because there's 21 different days and different items on each day, plus the hot buys, I always like to just kind of go through it with you. And so you guys can see what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Um, and then I don't have to have like three pages of notes in order to go through it all. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then, and then I am actually also filming today my Sephora VIB sale wish list. So I'm going to be filming both of those on my computer. So I thought I might do them both back to back. I thought it would be fun since um, just last week I did a video comparing the two sales and both sales are coming up. The Ulta sale actually starts the 18th, which is this Sunday, just a few days away, and runs through the 7th of April. Um, the the Sephora sale dates have not yet been um, announced, but usually it's somewhere in the middle of April, so that one is right around the corner as well. So I thought it would be fun to do some sale videos back to back. So today we're talking about the Ulta one. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you my wish list for the VIB sale, um, and then a little closer to the VIB sale, I will be doing a recommendations video as well. So definitely look forward to those videos, but if you're not familiar with what the Ulta 21 day sale is. I did, like I said, just go in depth on it and I'll have that in the cards, but just a brief overview. It's basically like a flash sale. They do a different, different products on sale each day from, uh, for 21 days. And this time they're starting, um, the 18th of March. So that's just a few days away. And then they also have their hot buys and their hot buys are the, uh, products that are on sale for the whole time. So I'm going to start by showing you guys the calendar for the 21 day sale. And then we're going to look at the hot buys as well. And when we're looking at it, I'll let you guys know if it's something I'm planning to buy or if it's something I recommend. So that's what we're doing. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button while you are here. And yeah, let's just jump on in. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are actually looking at the physical ad instead of the computer. It arrived um, just today. So I actually ran to check my mailbox because the picture I had on my screen was really blurry and I didn't want to use that, so thank goodness this arrived so we don't have to look at a blurry picture on my screen. All right, you guys, so this is the 21 day sale ad. I'm gonna zoom out for a second so you can see um, this is the full ad. So they have the whole spread of all 21 days here. And then when you turn the page, they have their hot buys here. So I wanna start with the 21 days and just before we get into the individual days, I will tell you guys, looking at this, this is not as exciting as years past, but there are a couple items on here that I'm really excited for. So um, in years past, I had more things that I wanted to pick up, but this time I have less things, but the things that I am gonna pick up, I'm more excited about. Does that make sense? Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so as I mentioned, it starts Sunday the 18th, and the first day there are two products that are on sale. The Lights, Camera, Lashes, is it the Lashes or Flashes? Yeah, Lashes, and then also the uh, Floss. So I've tried both products. I don't recommend either of those personally. I don't like them. Um, March 19th, there are also two products on sale. We have the Benefit Brow Gel and then the It Cosmetics Powder. Um, I don't I don't have any interest in the Brow Gel from Benefit. I don't really use brow gels typically. Um, and if I were to use one, I prefer the one from Anastasia. But this It Cosmetics kind of caught my eye at first. I have not tried a lot from the brand. Bye Bye Pores Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. It sounds nice, but I have so many powders, I think I'm gonna skip on it. But $14.50 is a good price for that item so if that's something you're interested in try in trying um, that is 50% off so it is a good deal all right March 20th we do have a really good item on this day on um, on the 20th the pure four-in-1 press powder is uh, basically 50% off so it's 1475 normally 2950 that's a really good price for this powder I love this powder um, I actually have it in my makeup use up project for the year I am not gonna buy it because again just like I said last on the day before I have way too much powder right now so I'm trying to get through a little bit of it but this is a powder that I do recommend and I would highly recommend picking up at that price then we have a little Clinique set which I'm not interested in and so I'm just gonna skip right over that 
Moving on to March 21st. So March 21st, they have a couple different products. The Smashbox Primer Water is on sale for $16, which is 50% off. Most of these are 50% off. It's a good deal. It's a good deal, but I'm not, I'm just not a fan of the primer water. I don't know about you guys, but I just felt like it did nothing for my skin. I feel like people with dry skin love it. And if you have combo to oily skin, you probably don't like it. So my combo skin, I was like, eh, it's not really doing anything for me. So for that reason, I'm not really interested in it and I'm going to be passing on that. Uh, March 22nd, there's a couple deals here as well. Oh, by the way, I skipped the proactive, not for all of these days, because I don't want this video to be 45 minutes, I'm going to just not talk about something if I have no interest in it. Um, so if you see me just skip over something, it's because I'm really not interested. Uh, so March 22nd, a couple items again. Buxom lip glosses or full-on lip creams is what they call them. Those are on sale for $10 each. Those are good. I, I know a lot of people are obsessed with those. If you like them, pick them up that price because that's a great price for those. But... I personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Buxom lip glosses. I think they're nice, but they're not anything that is really special in my opinion. I know they plump a little bit, but I prefer the Grande lip plumpers if you want a really good lip plumper. These are just too mild for me. And then the Clarisonic is on sale. I already have a Clarisonic, and as does my daughter, so I don't need one. But if you are looking for one, um, $119 is an okay price. It's not great. It's not the best sale I've seen on those. I've seen those down to like $99, um, but $119 is all right. All right, March 23rd, this is a day I am excited about. So this day, the um, Urban Decay eyeshadow singles are on sale for $10 each, normally $20. I am gonna be there at my store when the when they open for this deal. This is one deal that I wanna be there for um, because I wanna check out all the different shades and everything, but I will definitely be picking up a few of those. I love the Urban Decay single shadows, but I'm not gonna pay $20 for an individual single shadow. I think that's too much. $10 is still a little on the high side for just one eyeshadow, but I think they're really, really good. So I think I might pick up a, one or two of these during that sale. Um, my daughters had bought for me the shade Asphyxia during my Kids Buy My Makeup Challenge, and it's one of my favorite eyeshadows in single, in a single that I have. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking at those and maybe picking up a few shades of that one. All right, we're going to move on to March 24th, which has a f actually a few different products here. Both the philosophy products I'm not going to talk about. Anything philosophy in here, you're going to see me skip over because you guys know how I feel about philosophy. I can't use that brand, but um, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner is on sale for $11. I think I might pick one of those up, actually. I think the Stay All Day Liner is okay. It's not my favorite, but for $11, I would pick it up. I won't pay the normal $22 for it because I feel like my physician's formula eye booster that's like, I want to say $12. How much is that one now? I think it's $12 is better, but for $11, I'd totally pick up the Stila one. I think it's a good one. So to the March 25th. This one has um, a couple products from It Cosmetics. I might look at this brush. The only thing is, every time I've ever gone to see, I feel like every year or every Ulta 21 day sale, they have an It Cosmetics brush, and it's always one brush. And every time I go to look at it, it's always sold out before I get there. Does that happen to you guys? I don't know. I just feel like I can never get it, but... $11 is a great price for one of the It Cosmetics for Ulta brushes, but it's always just one brush, and this time it is their um, foundation brush. Honestly, I don't need another foundation brush. I really don't, but $11 is a good deal. I might just look at it and, you know, look at the tester and feel the tester and see if I think I need it. All right, let's move on to March 26th. So there's a couple great deals here. The Becca Backlight Primer and the First Light Priming Filter. Both of those are on sale for $19 a piece. That's 50% off. That's a fantastic deal. Now, I already own both of these, and both the ones that I have are pretty full because I just ran out of a full size of the uh, backlight and have a brand new one that I just started using. So both of them are pretty full, so I'm not going to be buying it. I don't think I need a backup. I have so many primers, but $19 is a great price. If you are interested in trying either one of these, I think... They're both great primers. I would recommend either one. If you're trying to decide between the two, the backlight is a little more glowy, a little, uh, not really shimmery, but you can see the glow. You can see kind of a shine through your foundation with that one, whereas the backlight is a lot more natural. So depending on if you like the extra glow or if you want to be extra natural, but they're both fantastic primers, so I would recommend either one of those. All right, we're moving on to March 27th. Um, so this day, there's a couple good deals. The Lorac um, Pro Contour Palette, 
is on sale for $20. That's more than 50% off because it's normally $45. So that is a fantastic deal. I already have several contour palettes, so I am not going to get it just because I feel like I have no need to, for it. You know, when your collection is as large as mine, you have to be really selective in what you're picking up. And this is just not something that I feel like I need right now. But if you don't have a contour palette and you're looking for one at a great price, I've heard good things about this. Like I said, I don't personally own it, but I have heard good things. And I think that's a fantastic deal for that product. And then down here we have the Stila Convertible Color um, Lip and Cheek Creams. I've owned some of these before. I did end up decluttering them because I don't like a cream-based cheek product. However, I will say for a cream-based cheek product, it's one of my favorite formulas I've tried because it blends really easily without like blending away. But I still just don't like creams for the cheeks. So that's why I decluttered mine. I'm not gonna be picking these up, but if you are a, a cream product fan, I know there are a lot of people who actually prefer cream, um, $12.50 is a good deal for those products. All right, March 28th. Let me see if there's anything on here that I was interested in talking about. Um, no, we're going to skip March 28th. Let's go to March 29th. Um, the Roller Lash is on sale on the 29th. That one is on sale for $12, and that's normally $24, so 50% off. I like the Roller Lash. I think it's a good mascara. $12 is a good price for it. I'm not going to get it. I just, I don't know, you guys. I'm really on a budget, so I'm really trying to be selective here, um, but I think it is a good deal for that product. All right, moving on to the 30th. Here is another day I'm very excited about. So first of all, we have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Long Wear Lipsticks. These are on sale for $10.50 each. I think I only have one, maybe two shades of these. I think I only have one though. Anyway, um, $10.50 is a great price. I've been wanting more shades of this, so I am definitely gonna go and pick up a couple of these as well. So I will be in store that day um, trying to find those. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to pick up at least one, maybe a couple of those as well. And then we also have this here, which is from Peter Thomas Roth. These are the Unwrinkle Peeling Pads. I am so excited for this, you guys. This is normally $45 on sale for $22.50. I love Peter Thomas Roth. It is one of my favorite anti-aging skincare brands. I love it. It's so, such good quality. And I haven't tried the Unwrinkle Peel Pads, but I have tried a couple other products from the Unwrinkle line, and I love it. So I am definitely picking these up. These are great for when you're traveling. Um, so this is something I'm gonna get for sure. March 31st, another day that I am excited for. I'm sure you guys already know what I'm gonna say here. So the... Um, Brow Wiz, the Anastasia Brow Wiz is on sale for $10.50 again. I'm so happy because I was running low on my backups. I think I have only, uh, well, the one I'm using is almost gone, and then I think I only have one backup left. So I'm definitely going to be buying a few shades of this. I mean, they only let you pick, they only let you purchase two of each shade. So Caramel is the shade I usually wear, so I'll definitely get two of those. And then I'll have to get like two of another shade. I think last time I did soft brown. All right, now we're getting into April, April 1st. I'm gonna skip that day too. And then April 2nd. Oh, April 2nd, there's some good stuff. So April 2nd, we have a couple Butter London products. They have their Glazen Eye Glosses and their Lip Glosses for half off, it looks like. So I um, picked up a couple of these eye glosses when they were on sale, I wanna say on Black Friday. I think it was a Black Friday sale. And I like it. I think I, I picked up two colors. So I'm going to look at them again. So I'm going to look at it again and see if there's any other colors that I think I might like. But um, I think that is a good deal for that. So that's something I would recommend. Um, and that's it for that day. And then April 3rd, here's another good one. There's a lot more actually in here than I thought there was. So April 3rd, the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighton is on sale for $14. I love these. They're such a great formula for a blush, and I only have two shades, so I'm definitely going to look at those and see if maybe I might pick up another one. $14 is a good deal. That's half off, so that's something I'm going to look at. All right, I'm going to skip April 4th. I'm not interested in those deals. And then April 5th, there is a good deal here with Urban Decay. They have their primer potion on sale for between $10 and $12. I think the $10 ones are going to be their, the regular one, and then usually the uh, anti-aging one is a couple dollars more, so I'm sure those are the ones that are at $12. So, so $10 to $12 is a fantastic deal for the primer potion. Um, I think that's the price that they price their travel size at, isn't it? Yeah, that's the price of a travel size for a full size. That's great. That's a great deal if that's a primer that you use. 
All right, and then April 6th, I'm gonna skip that one. I'm not a fan of these Tarte lip paints. And then, all right, and then the last day, April 7th, there is a couple great deals here as well. So we have the MAC Prep and Prime, which is on sale for $13. I am definitely gonna get one of those because I'm currently out of my, I'm currently out of my Fix Plus, so I'm gonna grab one of those. And then uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is $11.50. That's a great price for that mascara. I'm gonna see if my daughter needs a new one because that's what she uses. All right, you guys, so those are all of the 21 days. Let's take a quick look at the Hot Buys. All right, so here's like an overview of the Hot Buys. They changed the way they do these this time, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I want you guys to leave me comments down below and let me know what you think about it. But they have this side of the page are a bunch of miniature sizes, so all the stuff you get like in the beauty on the fly section or at Ulta, I don't know what they call it, but the section right by the register with all the travel size minis. These are just the ones shown, it says. You can buy three and get one free. I don't think that's a great deal. <laughs> Personally, buy three, get one free does not sound that good to me. If it was buy two, get one free, maybe, um, or buy three, get two free, maybe, but buy one, buy, buy three, get one, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a great deal to me, but let me know what you guys think, and it, as far as I can tell, it's only on the items shown here. Um, I have a feeling those are gonna go fast, so if you wanted to do this deal, I would suggest going on the first day of the sale to get what you're looking for because I have a feeling the good stuff is gonna go fast. And when I say the good stuff, I'll show you what I think are things that would be worth picking up on this page. Um, the Too Faced Hangover RX Spray, the Stila Magnificent Metals Eye, um, the mascaras, those always go quickly, the Too Faced Better Than Sex and Roller Lash, um, I wouldn't get this Urban Decay Primer Potion, you guys, because if you're going to buy that, that's like $10. Buy the full-size one on the sale day. Duh. Ulta. Hello. Um, the All-Nighter and Travel Size, that's a good That's a good item. Yeah, that's pretty much the only things on here that I would buy. So, there's that. All right, let's move on to the actual hot buys. They have less this time since they're doing that buy two, get one free. Or no, buy three, get one free. Um, they have less hot buys, so we'll go through these pretty quickly. All right, let's see. So the first thing is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Setting Mist. I think it's okay. I don't know. I still don't, I don't even think I'd pay $15 for that spray. I feel like it doesn't do a whole lot, so I'm not really interested in that. I'm not really interested in the Laura Geller set they have here um, or the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipsticks. I think these are all right, but I have, I think, a couple of them already, and I'm totally fine with just having a couple. Um, then they have these Lorac Pro uh, Pencil, Pro Matte Lip Colors. These were on sale last year during their hot buy, so I think I already got a couple and I'm totally fine there, so I'm not gonna be interested in that. The uh, Lipstick Queen Lipsticks, those are $14. I feel like 14, I don't know. I feel like their original price of $24 is too much for those lipsticks, so uh, $14, yeah, maybe if you're interested in those, I'm not gonna be buying that. Um, they have the Benefit, Professional Matte Rescue. I've heard the I've heard bad reviews on this, so I wouldn't be interested in that. Um, and then down here we have the Mali Shimmer Shape and Glow Palette. I haven't really heard much about this. Twenty four dollars is a pretty decent price, but I'm not really interested in that. And then we have a ton of eyeliners. We have some Japanese eyeliners, some Julep eyeliners, and then there's also some Smashbox liners down here. Uh, lots of eyeliners, and I'm not really interested in any of them, but these I will tell you guys though I have three of these Smashbox liners, and I think these are really good these um, always on gel liners $10 a piece is a great price for those so I would recommend those if you're looking for a really good eyeliner I just have too many already so I'm gonna be passing on that deal this pure miracle mist sound, sounds interesting $10 seems like a good deal for that and then this is a um, Glazen Blush Gelee, so that's something I'm definitely not interested in. As I mentioned already, I do not like cream-based blush products. So that is everything in the ad. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this ad, if you think it is um, as good as what they normally do or how you're feeling about it. I just don't think it's quite as good, but there are some things I'm super excited for. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up a few things. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about picking up during the sale. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.